Tornado. He's going to he's going to seek out air dodges repeatedly. He's yeah. going to seek out down throw to down B a lot. You will see it happening. The, uh, less Bobby Wasabi can keep him out. Just running and immediately punishing the vulnerability window from the Lloyd. There's a lot of people who just respect Lloyd. No, you go after it. Hit it before they get going. That's end lag too. So you can you could beat it out if you jump over it. Or sometimes your hitbox will literally go through it if it's still on startup. That the triggers me. I hate the fact that he has a tether grab that he's able to to zone it's like uh, get back in faster than most other characters. So Bobby's game plan here might be just keep Luigi away like yeah. the plague. Don't let this man in at all. 100%. And Scott, one of those players, you know, it, you see all these Twitter combos from Luigi. He's got it. Yeah, he's, he's got, got the ability him. to pull them all off, and it's big damage every time he gets in when he can. So Bobby will be doing a good job of boxing him out now using the zoning tools. I'm just going to get this out of my system. I hate Scott's Luigi color. <laughs> It is so disgusting. It is. It's yeah, so like that, someone just yacked all over that, like 10 seconds before he started the match. And he's like, well, I got I to gotta play. Yeah, I got to get in know, there. He's a plumber. That's yeah, after is, a that's long true. day's worth of work, man. It's a, it's a pretty crappy job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is post-work clothes, and he needs to put it in the washer. So going back into this, Rising Fair is going to get him uh, some pressure back off stage. <laughs> 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 so Bobby doing a great job of keeping him out, not letting Scott get too crazy of his punishes. There we go with the there, cyclone. Right, yeah, that's, that's one. The very first one. That's one counter. Up smash still a very great tool. Also down smash is really good for whiff punishing. It has, it has, I believe, more than one hitbox on it, so you're really able. You can catch from multiple directions. Oh, this man has got some titanium set of you know what, just that throwing was, out the air, and he's gonna get hit for overcommitting with an aerial at the ledge. Yeah, uh, actually gonna take the stock. Too, too much core values. Man, uh, that's that's gonna be going. That's gonna be going for quite some time. <laughs> Heard Mr. Wizard was uh, st steaming around uh, Evo Japan. But back into this, uh, Bobby Wasabi, you like this is much different than what we're used to seeing in the past. He's doing so a really good job of not staying within Scott's range. Sometimes you, as a player, you want to go in a little bit too much when you have a lead. He's staying to the same game plan that's still working for him so far. I'm just wondering why why. Why did they? Why did Luigi decide? Oh, let me just use this plunger attached to my vacuum cleaner instead of using his hands. Like he didn't. Does he just not want to get him dirty? Okay, his, no invincibility left off of that. I I like the attempts, but they're he's he's giving up stage control and throwing himself in disadvantage. Villager's recovery while being exploitable to get damage on. If you miss that and you put yourself in disadvantage, Villager can do the same thing right yeah. back to you and jump off stage. And given how Luigi's recovery has changed, it leaves him a bit more susceptible to getting hit than it. But PS2, uh, he was able to duck under it twice as well, avoiding the edge guard attempt. So that's, I think, we will not be seeing a return to PS2. Now that's a that's a really good point you mentioned right there. Just given the stage layout, how the the lip over encompasses uh, the rest of the stage, you can kind of hide under there as Villager because mm -hmm. Villager has a lot of time on the recovery and great drift off of it. I love These that pressure ex he exerted by a second ago, like just. Bouncing back and forth behind the tree. Wow. We catches the roll in too as well. He's got a very comfortable lead going here against Scott. Uh, Scott. The thing with Luigi is that he's going to run in quite a bit. I also didn't know that his does his grab not work on shield or am I just cr going crazy? All I know is that it's no got clue. a lot of range and if it's you get grabbed, work, it's zero. Right? Wow, that's a great combo right there. Using the, uh, the, I don't know if that was hit sundry, tripped off of it. Now what I want to see, I would like to... I mean, more do that. I mean, do, yeah, do that yeah, a whole good. lot more. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It can he hold Cyclone like over the ledge to like get the balloons or at least make Bobby more aware? Because I know it kind of leaves you in place a little bit. You kind of still float down from it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that would be a great option. But I don't, he's been doing the job consistently, getting out of range. But all of a sudden, this pressure that Bobby had before when he was staying away is starting to disappear in the blink of an eye. Like a couple grabs have even this right back up. I like the range he's keeping Bobby at now. He was at a very heavy disadvantage before because Bobby got that comfortable mm -hmm. mid range against him. Mm -hmm. Now he's staying in his face. He is still getting hit for it quite a bit, but just in the slight chance that he beats out one of Bobby's options, he's able to get that grab or just any any sort of punch right here. Ooh, that Ooh. was scary, especially with the wind box that uh that watering can has. Yeah, that that could have blown him wrote. right back into the tree. That would have been a swift uh, trip to the blast zone. And luckily, didn't get hit by it, but now digging oh, deep. He's going for big, but he overcommits. Yeah. That back here, the thing is you never want to be below Villager. It is, it is such mm -hmm. a scary thing to be over Villager. And you see, he, was, he just like closed his eyes, like shaking his head. He's like, yeah. He knew he, he I mean, he, he, went for, he went for gold. He went for gold and ended up with silver because he, mm -hmm. he jumped out too far. That back air only catches one option, which mm -hmm. is a horizontal, like, Upward recovery. If we did make the reference earlier to Lef Leffen saying, yo, just edge guard. Yo, just edge guard, but bro. Also Not like that, though. Be smart game, about it. <laughs> if it's if they have a much better um, recovery. If they, much better maneuverability than you off stage, sometimes 
just ledge trap. Like, ledge trapping is still a sh very strong mechanic in this game. Like, you need to set that pressure up. And think, he, he <laughs> didn't do that that much in that game. You think Villager would hate being off stage because he's you know always always on the ground in this town, like running his running his uh, running his village. He's got bills to pay. He loves being off stage. Mm. Villager, lo he has so many tools to keep him in the air at all times, and his recovery is pretty good too. It, it's it's very exploitable, and it can be hit. He can be hit out of it quite a bit. But I feel like Scott tried to go for the kill as opposed to keeping him in disadvantage off stage. Mm. I like I like that he's been going for the edge guards. I just don't think that was the proper time or place to, to go for that one. He could have held ledge. Now, is he actually going to go back to PS2 after that? He is. Wow, okay. Um, like, I know he started making adjustments at the end, but he... the, the edge a confident guard player also. Uh, fair enough. Like, you know, if you're feeling confident in the way that you're playing, like, run it back. But I just think that the, am close. the amount of times he caught, like missed the edge guard attempts because of the angles that he That's took. That's true, If yeah. he can't adjust to that in this game, Bobby's going to consistently get back for free again unless he opts to ledge trap him instead. But uh, taking a bat a bit more, I like the reserved approach Scott is already leading off with. That Nair is also ridiculously good. Yeah, but I do agree. I feel like a, a, a better pick. I think, I don't know what... Bobby's bands were. I mean, they were on the screen. I just happened to miss them. Mm -hmm. The thing is, Luigi wants to close in the amount of space he has on Villager. Yeah, this assuming Smashville was probably one of the well, definitely removed in that regard. This stage has a respectable amount of space. I definitely didn't see the Villager. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. <laughs> I gotta act like I saw them. It's it's got a respectable amount of space to it as well, but I think Scott realizes that it's still close quarters enough for him to still get those punishes, and he's got the lead right now. I actually like what Scott is doing this time. Before he kept boxing him into the ledge and getting reversed for it and taking a lot of damage, now he's just he's holding center stage. Exactly, he's forcing him to come to him. And there's number two. Wait, I'm way less than I anticipated so far. But there we catch go. him in the back here. There you go. Get the startup frames every time. You get to take the first stop. Now he's being put off stage. So wow, that was. My what? man's got balls of steel. Well, I mean, Luigi conquered the undead ghosts, giant Bowsers. Like, as, as scared as he is, my, my man's brave right now. He tried to go for that uh, perfect hitbox right there to get it. Now, okay, now he can go nuts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See, that time he didn't get it that time, but I just go high. That was Ooh. so <laughs> smart on Scott's part to do the jumping side B, because not only do you get a lot of air off of that, it also Ooh. keeps you up in the air at place while you're doing it uh, while rising. Bobby pulled the trigger really early and got super hard punished for it. Almost lost a stock for it too. You know, this, it's definitely one of those situations you want to pull the trigger and try and punish that. But Scott's adaptation has been ridiculous this mm -hmm. set. Like he, he's been parrying these projectiles a lot, and then after he parries them, he's not been overzealous in his approaches. He's exactly Bobby's. As you've noticed, after the projectiles hit, Bobby goes in. Then, mm -hmm. then he starts doing a. Uh, he, he moves forward with his forward air to do that. Huh? What? what? Excuse me, sir? I'm going to need a refund on that one. My That's man, not fair. That sock just got great. That, that was what? That was the, the hit of the plunger into dash attack. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> you got to feel for, for Luigi players in this game as well. He even took so long to try and make it back, only to be met oh with a bowling ball God, no matter what. Dude. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was crazy. That was such a... Ooh. That was sick. Dude, my, he's, he's turning into zero suit. He's using the Zare to, to break the zone he couldn't cover That's off the DI so from the fairs. Sick. He's preventing him from getting the, the this punishes. This should be the stock oh, here, that actually yeah. That actually was bad for him because yeah. he could have made it back <laughs> if that didn't happen. They call it a misfire for a reason, man. Hey, usually it's a good thing, but that time coming in as a oh. negative. Yo, See, this is the exact spot he put himself in last game, though, where he was playing off stage on his last stock. If you've got a big lead with a stock, I can understand it. Mm -hmm. But he's winning neutral. He can get a kill off of just winning neutral. And he knows he, he's now showing adaptation to zone break. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't want to see it, you know, bite him in the butt. Yeah, you don't want to overcommit when you have a lead like this, especially when you're behind in the games. Just double, throwing a double throw, and that's going to lead to the double. Oh, he's not going to get the kill this time, though. Oh, he's hanging onto ledge, which is scary, but he jumps off at the perfect time with the rising. He's going back off again. See, that is the only time he should be doing that. When Villager pulls the balloons out, that is when he should start going. He has to do rising aerials. Oh, oh and he manages to get out of the situation, keeping his composure. Either that or just smashing the up B and getting away with it. But if he goes for that gimp, he needs to do a rising aerial with it. Because mm. if he does and he ends below Villager, it can spell curtains for him at 25, 50, any percent. So he's got to be very careful now. However, getting that back air right there and sealing out that game too. He's giving us heart palpitations out here, AJ. Yeah, so I am. Uh, oh my god. I am sweating in this seat <laughs> for him because, like, you can see Scott. Like, he's working much harder. He's shaking his head. Like, I think he thinks he's working harder than he needs to. But at these regional events, people want to put their work in, regardless if you have played against a, like a player of this style before. 
Uh, oh, we're going to be going to Kalos. So okay. Scott's bands are very interesting. He bans Smashville and Yoshi's Story. I, I, that I, goes I mean, Yoshi's, what I thought. Yoshi's Island. I get why he banned Yoshi's Island. It's, it's, Yoshi's Brawl makes sense, but it's a sense Smashville. Smashville, maybe he's he's not. It might be like the fact that he could cover multiple options pretty well, kind of similar to um, Pac-Man sitting on that center platform. What I think he realizes is that even with more space, he survives a bit longer as well. Like if he puts himself in close quarter combat, one advantage that Bobby has, if Bobby gets a string of fares or just a quick punish out, it puts Scott in disadvantage more often than not. And given how, how the stage is a bit smaller, he can die earlier from yeah. it. Like Scott now, has been showing that he likes playing neutral. And now I know that this is, uh, you know, in Bobby's mind, all right, I'm going to live longer on the sides and I have more range to move. But like you just said, we Scott can won. live too. Yeah, well, Scott also won that by just boxing him and staying out. He went for, oh. He's, okay. stay, he's also been staying in Bobby's space the entire mm -hmm. time, like just keeping at this mid range. And I love that that quick awareness. He's really utilizing Luigi's new grab in ways I have not seen before. Mm -hmm. And he is not. He's nuts. He's oh. crazy. And he has nowhere to go that time. That time, because he didn't have the ability to hide under PS2, he got he spiked. You can't hide finally. anymore. You can run as long as you want, Villager, but you can't hide, bro. Mm -hmm. You go directly under me, I'm going to take that spike every time. You go around me, I'm going to hit you with that back here. Thing is, and Bobby, I feel like Bobby needs to start. Hitting the defensive now. Now that he realizes he's been losing neutral, he needs to start doing a lot more retreating uh, fares. If Scott is pairing those projectiles, wait for him to do so. Exactly. Land behind him, or just just dart around him. Really try to. The, the main thing that Villager excels at is his survivability off of stage. Mm -hmm. He is also he has not punished the double zares at yeah, all yet. Like at the, all. the double throw attempts have been like for free from Scott these past few games. If he can uh, acknowledge that and actually start to punish it, he can get these da the damage he's looking for. I love how Scott has been keeping at this range, though, where even even uh, Bobby's other moves, like his uh, Nair, mm -hmm. Scott has not been freaking out and going too far in with his forward airs. Like, he'll keep it at a respectable range and still stay in front of Bobby, so Bobby will do a retreating forward air to try to get himself out of a, a sticky situation. That but Scott won't overcommit, so it doesn't give him the punish. He's dead, though, off of that, unfortunately. Uh, I was just about to say, what that was such a good sequence of events for Scott. He avoided the setup at the ledge. He managed to avoid the tree, but still ended up air dodging at the end and losing the stock. He was doing a good job of just not allowing Bobby to set up. Nice. Yeah, that's the thing. I think the air dodge was just, okay, I'm feeling myself a little too hard. I need to pick an evasive option. I, I don't, I think might the upbeat. Might have jump. I think the upbeat might have been able to snap to ledge, though, uh, at that point. That or maybe scared of bowling ball, but you know that yeah, it's, 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 it's a terrifying move. It's a terrifying move for sure, mm -hmm. but it's it's pretty easily avoidable. It just hits really hard. That being said, now Scott, Bobby's starting to make this ground up a, a bit more. I think Bobby's been able to find his footing. He's now keeping. He he now went from fighting mid range to fighting as far away as he possibly can, and that's mm -hmm. that's the range where Scott can't punish. And that's then, what gave him success in game one. Exactly. He got too comfortable going in and playing at mid range, and again, again. he gets him on the bowling ball. And that's just gonna be a free stock, and now he's gonna get the lead. And he's still going off stage. He could, he could die. I like the confidence, but he could find himself at a disadvantage. That's a back air right there. Mm -hmm. Not gonna quite get it though. I, I, I commend his ability to go off with confidence, especially being behind, because last thing we want to see is an SD, and he's go, he's SD a few times now with these air dodges. You don't want to see him go off and get afraid of Bobby throwing out a hitbox with a stock lead and losing it because he got afraid. I just, I'm just wondering why he abandoned the original game plan because now he seems to be a little more desperate in his option selects. Mm -hmm. That Zare was doing a great job of zone breaking before, and I don't think Bobby ever learned how to solve it just yet. He's kind of just been thriving off of having more space and more survivability than Scott. And, and Scott's he's now been forced to fish for these Cyclone kills. Yeah, you see, he's swinging a little bit harder now compared to before. Like, it, it, be finally <laughs> catching him with the Cyclone. Oh, I don't know what the counter is up to now. I think it's like eight. It's well, got to be high. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think Devin was keeping track. <laughs> Now, being at 71% or 80%, excuse me, if he can reestablish his footing. <gasps> wow, he used the grab invincibility to get through the tree. That was a stroke of luck, I'm going to say, instead of a stroke of genius. And, and the tree also coming in to help Bobby there, too, because I think because of it being too far out of range, he couldn't readjust to get the potential zero to death. Right. Now, this is a scary spot we've seen. Oh, no, he didn't. I don't know if that was a bait or he just missed, messed up the input. Now, that is scary. That axe is still a legitimate kill option that uh, mm -hmm. Bobby can throw out. So I like that Scott, while he has the tree up, he's been staying a bit further back. Bobby Joe doing a really, really great job of, of just keeping out of range. He's been picking away at Scott slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. He's not freaking out that this is his last stock. Rather, he's trying to take advantage of it. Yes. Scott trying to be an innovator right now. Yeah, you see Scott, is just, he's, he's trying to play the same way he was before, but it's not working the same because of the fact that Bobby's backing off. He's committing so hard to going off stage. Do not oh, SD. Oh, no. Down okay, there. all right, able to make it back. 
Now he's got to be very careful on these rolls he's been doing around uh, around Bobby. Bobby yeah, you though. see Bobby's trying to bait it out. Like he's he's waiting to catch him with a potential spot dodge at the ledge to kill him with that forward smash. Psycho, could Psycho that be it? It's not going to no. get it. The great DI coming in from Bobby actually going to keep himself alive. 114%. The dash, oh, attack, dash attack is going to fall out of it as kill. well. That dash attack could kill, actually. That is a kill move now. Mm -hmm. And very, as we saw earlier from the Zare, it's a dash attack. And the, this is going crazy. for the axe. Is the back throw going to finally do it? Kalos oh, coming in it. is going to keep him alive. This is a, such a great counter pick. I'm just wondering why Scott didn't bid it. That could be a backer to end it off. Gets the forward air instead. He's going to throw him up top. That time he's going to the other side. Going to get out of there. Not trying to get back down. If back down at the ledge, he could die. I like how Scott's just been spacing out with these back airs, keeping Bobby in the corner. That's not it. He falls out again. And he goes and thinking deep. deep. And he goes oh, thinking deep no. again. And he still makes it back with the force smash. He's going to get him. And the down beat in it? center Is stage. Gonna be yes, yes, finally that's take it. it. Scott takes it. Oh, Bobby looking so hurt after that defeat. Oh that God. was so scary. And yeah, you can see, yeah, Bobby's frustrated with that one. You know, he there was so many situations. He just didn't capitalize. The scramble there. The and he tried to drop down and get to dare, but instead he got the jump and footstool. And that time being a little bit too anti, trying to maybe get a throw, gets punished with the down beat at the center stage and finally he dies. In that, in that scenario there, the thing, I think Bobby, because Bobby's recovery is great. If Scott is below you, he could have just mashing that A yes. button to get that. I don't know if the Nair is still frame three, but it's it's still very quick, and he could have knocked Scott out of that range. He had no jump left. Mm -hmm. He was forced to use his up B, but I think Bobby was just like, I need to get back to stage and get the advantage back. But Scott game, already had his next game three move planned and a out. scramble for the last stock, trying to get out of pools. It's so stressful to keep your composure. Yeah. And as you saw, you know Scott was able to be the one to come out on top in the scramble and actually take it out. He's